Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. We just finished the third book of the Torah, Vayikra. So as is customary, we all happily call down in the synagogue in unison, Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazek. Be strong, be strong, and may we be strengthened. Referring to our growth in Torah and mitzvot. This week we begin the next book, Numbers, or in Hebrew, Bamidbar, meaning in the desert. The Parsha begins, and God spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai. Did you ever wonder why Hashem gave the Torah in the desert? The desert is basically ownerless, meaning no one can claim it as being their own. Since we know that there is nothing random in the Torah and that every phrase and even every letter is meaningful, then God's choice of this location must hold significance in our daily lives. God was showing us something very important. Just like no one can claim he is the sole owner of the desert, the same holds true regarding the Torah, which belongs 100% equally to everyone. Whether one is more learned or less, more observant or less, the Torah belongs to each of us equally, and we should value each other equally as well, especially since each one of us is gifted with unique talents to share with the world. Interestingly, the word Bamidbar can be read as two words, Bam Daber, in them you should talk. The section of the Talmud Yoma explains an important concept on these words, in the tense used when we say the Shema Yisrael prayer twice each day, Vidibarta Bam, speak of them. It teaches us that we should value our gift of speech and speak about good things such as Torah and not forbidden talk such as gossip, Lashon Hara. These two concepts about Bamidbar, that the Torah belongs to each of us equally and that we shouldn't speak badly about another may seem like two separate things, but actually they are connected. If we know more than another about Torah, we need to stay humble and help him who may not have had the opportunity to learn as much. And if we know less than another, we do not have to feel bad or less than because we each have the same eternal connection. We are all descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. And it's up to us to value that eternal connection and learn something new to pass down to the next generation. And the weekly Torah portion is a great place to start. Just remember, Regardless of which you think is your current situation, it's no coincidence that this week's teaching comes right after we all said chazak, chazak, venis chazek in the synagogue. No matter our level of knowledge, every single one of us can be strengthened and improve ourselves, especially since we all just blessed one another in unity to do just that. I want to wish you Chodesh Tov, a good new month ahead, the month of Sivan, when we receive the Torah again brand new, just as we did on the way to the land of Israel for the very first time in the year of creation, 2448, that's 1313 BCE. This is a celebration for everyone, as this is when Judaism introduced monotheism to the world that there is a divine blueprint and that each of us has been given special talents to elevate ourselves and our surroundings. Thank you to all our subscribers. Please leave me comments and questions below and remember to click like. And most importantly, if you haven't already, subscribe and share the videos across your social media so we can continue to bring you new content each week, uniting people by inspiring them to increase in random acts of goodness and kindness through technology and Torah. See you next time and good Shabbos. And do your best today. You've traded a day of your life for it.